What is going on YouTube? I am Stiff Midget. This is Elden Ring! And you guys are awesome. Alright, so... I haven't made an Elden Ring video at all, really. At all. Because it started and I was like, oh, hey, yay! And then it just didn't work out right. Alright, anyway, uh, I went to stream the game, it didn't go so hot, and I was super upset. And so I just didn't stream it. Now, that does not mean I have not played Elden Ring. <laughs> oh god, uh, let's see, my Havel character has 140, 160 some odd hours on him. I, f I love Spectral Lance. It's probably my favorite weapon art in the game. Uh, jumping in at least that. This spear here is actually really good. Alright. Let's run through the Achilles build. Alright. This is the mighty Achilles. He's amazing. Uh, this is not the final end game build, of course. This is just, hey, I started the game up. Put them together. Went and did a few things. I have not, if I remember right, I have not gone. Let me double check my. Nope. Okay. I have not gone and killed the dragon. That is to say, uh, I still have all that butt ton of souls to go pick up. So we're going to try to do that later. Maybe. Um, that's one of those things where I feel like. Okay. Stab. Stab. There we go. Achilles. Uh, killing the dragon in Dragon Sparrow to get those souls is one of those, uh, like, skips, I feel like they put into this type of game. Uh, like the... Okay, I don't know how ever that possibly didn't break them all, but I'll take care of this. Uh, now, I do have pick on this weapon. On the shield, maybe? No, I have it on the weapon, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright. This is Achilles. Let's run through his build. Uh, as I sit here bodying things in Stormfail. Oh yeah, I don't need to go through that. So, mighty Achilles, la 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 la. He's gonna maximize strength, endurance, and vigor. Um, mostly prioritizing a giant donkey fat health bar. I don't know that I'm gonna have crazy heavy armor, mostly because I don't know what crazy armors are in this game, to be honest. I've got like 140 hours on Havel. I made it to the Giants, the Storm, Storm, uh, I'm sorry, as you were, Hilltop of the Giants? That one. I made it to the snowy fields, right? Where there's like the Heroes of Zamor, okay? Spoilers. Alright, the game's been out for months by now, I don't care. I haven't beaten it yet, but if you haven't watched somebody beat it already, you're just not watching the internet. Anyway, I got to the part where the heroes of Zamor, there's like just 80 of them scattered across this, and there's the only enemy there. Like, they, there's no... I want to love this game. I want to give it a 10 out of 10, but there are elements of it that I have serious gripes about. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be making a full topic about that some other time, but not right now. Anyway, this is Achilles. He's taking on Stormvale. Let's go. So, Achilles, I I went with the uh, Brad Pitt from Troy for Achilles. So we got, let's see, let's get a little face action. A little full frontal here. Hold on. Some nudity ahead. Oh. Anyway, there's his face, right? Not the most, like, amazing Brad Pitt in the world, but, like, not terrible if I say so myself. I don't think I did too, 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 too bad. So, okay, uh, in terms of gear, you want to have gear equipped in every slot. I don't care if that's a bandit mask, I don't care if that's a champion's headband, I don't care if it's a commoner's headband that weighs .7 Miyazaki's. Whatever. And it's Prod's fault that I call them Miyazaki's because it just says, wait, .07. .07 what? Frigate Miyazaki's. They are Miyazaki's, that is the weight. Of, of all Elden Souls, Born, Ring Games. 
Uh, Sekiro. I haven't played Sekiro. That's a title I'm gonna pick up and gonna probably... Oh lord. So... I guess I'll just start streaming it. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, the build. I went with Brad Pitt's character from Troy, right? Achilles. It's kind of not only aesthetically my favorite look for how he is, right? I, I just think Brad Pitt looks like a Greek god to begin with, and then they made him play a Greek demigod hero character. Yeah, I'll fuck with it. Pardon my language. Oh, hey, we made it past five minutes before I cussed, actually. That's not terrible. Anyway. Oh, I, I, short, I short shot my staff. I feel so bad. Uh, right there was an example of one of my favorite, least favorite things about this game, and that is camera locks that are useless, irrelevant, and meant to get you hurt. Um, I can give way better examples of it if I'm on a cliff or near anywhere with birds or those little monkey dudes, the lemurs, the little guys you kill for the for the thin height, thin beast bones, not hide, bones. Kill them for their bones. Once, once, I found my way to that, but now. I wanted to kick him into the fire barrel and then explode the fire barrel, but I don't have any fire bombs on me. Yep. I don't even know if I have any cracked pots. Giant robot, you feel very low, shall you? I listen to Tech 9, and periodically that plays in my head. I would apologize, but I'm not sorry. Okay. So we're doing one of those, huh? Alright, so my favorite thing to do here, then, is employ the kick! Dude, I, I was sleeping on the kick. I was like, oh, whatever, kick, useless, blah. And then I went to s gate front, gate front, and I fought my favorite set of enemies, the gate front group, right? The gate front ruins, guards, whatever you want to call them, I fought them, and there's that one knight, the, the, I guess he's a Stormvale knight? Godric knight? I don't know, there's that one knight captain or whatever he is, right? Well, the actual knight. You, stop it. Matter of fact, actually, get off the... Yeah. Because kick is free, so kick is spammable. So I can just dagger lock them and kick them off ledges. Like, I'll bet you, if I'm patient, I can kick this person. Hang on, come here. No. La 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 la. This is Sparta. La 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 la. Did I mention that Kick also does stagger damage, so I can just chain kick him until he's knocked down? Get Kirk off. This is Sparta. <laughs> uh, yep. I swear by having the kick on this sword. Oh yes. Yeah, so the weapons, the build. Weathered straight sword, short spear. Where do you get these weapons? That's such an amazing build! Wow! <clears throat> Alright, ridiculous falsetto over. Uh, so I started the game with a warrior. I almost have changed nothing. Let me see here. Yeah, we have on the footwear and the wrists, the arms, whatever you call them. You have your arms and legs from the champion. Uh, exile armor dropped while I was here. I put it on and it happens to have this little armored frilly skirt effect, which so far has been the closest I can get to making my dude look like Achilles in terms of style of dress. So I'm going to rock it for now. I am hoping for more armored leg pieces, but I'm not holding my breath because I want armored boots that don't cover my whole body, right? I don't want like, hang on. Uh, the shield is just the basic starter shield, so yeah, I love this setup. Alright, so, uh, I went ahead and made the sprint to go get the... Oh, this fucking stinks. I went ahead and made the sprint to... Rhea Lucaria, maybe? Wherever the heck he I got Spectral Lance. But I went ahead and did that 
found the bug. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in Rayla Lucaria. That's right. Uh, it's in the graveyard in Rayla Lucaria. So I actually, this is my first time making it to the bonfire on this character. Bonfire. Dude, it's a bonfire. I don't care. It's a grace! Couldn't it have just been a bonfire? Like, did you have to... Alright, here's... Alright. I love this game. I think as the... Let me, let me dive into my thoughts on this game. Since I'm gonna do, be playing this for a while today, right now, anyway. Hang on. Since you're gonna turn up. Uh, that's a major improvement they made from Souls games previous to now. Is... I can absolutely... Uh... I can do my vi sorry, I have to collect my train of thoughts in my head and then finish flowing it out of my mouth. Which makes for disjointed talking while I'm streaming, but hey, I, I can't really help that. I have the aduhadu that is ADHD, and it runs rampant in my brain sack, and it just, you know, makes it hard for me to keep a collected train of thoughts. Shut up. <laughs> no, but sir, for Schneerius, um... I like that they changed the viscerals, right? Uh, that's my favorite name for them because they're not always backstabs. Jesus. Sorry, my ADHD makes my wires cross. Uh, I would never do this. Anyway, let me drop that topic before I say something get myself taken off of YouTube. Just because I'm trying to defend myself. Like, that's the thing, right? You, you can be like, I'm not this or that or the next. And then people are like, he's this or that or the next. Like, I was trying to say that I was not. And you're like crying because you just wanted to be social, and then everyone just wanted to be like me. And you're like, I don't understand. See, like, I love the guard counter. Okay, uh, let's talk about the good and the bad of Elden Ring, right? Because, like, right here, we're getting a look at some of the good and the now bad. Alright, um,. I do think that my initial expectations of this game just being like a, a flawless... Okay, uh, let me start with some positives. I think they've improved on the world beauty. This game is way prettier than Dark Souls 3. Now I know, Dark Souls 3 was meant to be drab and dreary and the kind of the, you know, the world in ash. Well, that's cool and all, but I want a diverse game world that doesn't just look like one ting, and only one ting, you stupid bird. Would you, I, how can we make bird enemies really annoying? Uh, give them attacks that go around behind you and whip past your sword, that'll be great. Now, I will say this, as I learned a- eh. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but we take those. Fine. Look, you wanna fly? Fly. Don't forget that your flight is not literal flight. You're just an animation above the ground. Yeet. I can't actually fly! My- my freaking legs have- Swords attached to them, and I fall and I die. <laughs> Squawk. <laughs> caw, caw, bang! Fuck, I'm dead! Let me know down in the comments if you know what movie that's from. I'll, I'll like your comment and be like, you're right! If, you're, if you say it, you're right. Alright. Now, the game gives you lots of audio cues. Some, sometimes. Like, right then... Hello. Let's let's play the chase each other around game. So, I I do and I don't understand the reduction in damage on backstabs, right? On the one hand, shoving my blade through a man is gonna not feel good for him. Yeet. Yeet. Nothing's more satisfying. These can get headshots. Can we just talk about the amazing yeet? All right. Alright, so my Achilles build is his Gladius looking sword, right? This is the closest I could get to a Gladius. Personally, I, I thought it looked like a Gladius. It's short, it's wide, 
it it's not a ton of damage, but I'm not here to cheese the game and be able to say, I killed everything in two hits. I beat Elden Ring. No. And at first I was mad that, that uh, FromSoft nerfed everything that players were using to quickly cheese through Elden Ring. Like, I'm looking at you, Horfrost Stomp and Mimic Tear. But then I realized this is this game is an experience, right? Look. One playthrough is going to take you over twice as long as any other Souls title, right? Just one. Maybe you'll only play through it once. For a lot of players, if they ever do get through the game, they will get through it once. That's my guess, okay? My guess, right now, as it sits, is that a lot of players are going to play this title, get through it once, Please keep in mind, I have no idea if this is the optimal route through the castle or any of that beejee beejee bougie be shish. I don't know if it, that's the right path or not, but this is the path we're taking. So we're taking it. Anyway, a lot of players gonna play once, uh, gonna have an ups and downs roller coaster y kind of experience, but that's a Souls game though. Like, you. Ha yeah, take this to the head, bruh. He didn't like that. Um, Spectral Lance does a fucking freight train truckload of stagger damage. Like, it's stupid how much it is. A jumping stab, because Achilles. Alright. Do, 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 do. I don't know, when I think of Achilles, I think of running, jumping, stabby thing to the dude's neck, and then he falls over. But I can't do that in this game. So we do runny jumping stab with, uh, oh, hello. Bing! And one for the road. Nope. All right. Uh, one of the spots where Elden Ring is intentionally poopy, but then from soft games have always been like that when it, uh, uh, ow. When it comes to, okay. Dog, if you don't quit chain kicking me, Okay, I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. Trash. Damn it! Oh well. FromSoft has always made it so that your character has the throwing arm of, like, a weak noodle. Not anymore, though. But not today! No, today we have the mighty Achilles who can yeet a javelin so far. Like, you don't fucking understand. From the first steps, Sight of Grace, I am able to stand on that cliff, and I am able to throw all the way, all the way, all the way, over to uh, the other ruins that are off to the right there. Like the ones that the Tree Sentinel patrols passed, I'm able to throw them just past that. All right, so what the game did there was something it loves to do, which is aggro juggling. You ever fight a group of enemies and then almost kill one of them, and then he runs into the group of friends he's got, and then you're like, no, I just needed one more hit on him. It sucks, right? Okay, so I'm a huge fan of that combo there, jumping attack immediately into the R2, right? Jumping attack. Sorry, jumping light attack, jumping attacks being a thing in this game is amazing. Oh yeah, I gotta talk about the pacing. So I haven't made a video about this game in its entirety because my thoughts are so chaotic and randomized that I feel like someone else would be better suited to deliver the content that I have in mind than me. And that's a sad thing for me to say. Like, oh, I want to create content, but I don't want y'all to watch my content because I don't think I'm the guy to make it. That's, that's kind of how that feels for me there. But at that same token, all right, I don't think we've aggroed the other guys, so we can go ahead and have our way with Dildo Face. Hi, Dildo Face! They're near! There we go. So now the other dude is actually out of the picture entirely. Where'd he go? Look at you mad. All right, so what the game did there was it tried to screw me. Uh, I, 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 on the one hand, sure, 
he could have heard me. On the other hand, if I walked all the way to here and threw a lance at his homie, you don't think he would have heard that? But he heard his friend get hit by the lance. I have questions. I just think the game tries... Yeah, I, I think the game wants you to come from the other way here. Uh, I think the game tries to screw you a little too often, but then again, looking back through the Souls series, that's kind of been a staple of the series. I do think this game is more guilty than any other of the haha -ha gotcha, and I'm not a fan of what, what I've come to call womp womp deaths. That is, any time I could die, and then that character from Arthur could pop in and go womp womp. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. it I'm looking at you, Neo. I start playing Neo, right? I'm having fun. I'm a samurai. All right. So the storyline of Neo is weirder than shit to me. Hi, I'm Geralt of Rivia, but I'm a European dude in Japan because reasons. And then, uh, yay! Hi, here I am. I'm in Japan. No reason. And it was all fine, it was all well and good, whatever, I'll ignore it, cool, we, we put down the stupid European bullshit and pick up Japanese weaponry because that'll actually work. Alright, so here's the thing. If you're being overwhelmed, stop mashing buttons. I don't know. I dislike how heavy or how quick his kicks come out, right? Like he going to win the kick trade there. And I don't like it. Nope. I don't feel like it should have given me that backstab, but that's the nature of Souls games. Eat. I think that gave it to me. Uh Okay. I want to say, I think that gave it to me, yeet, because, never mind. Uh, so I thought I had staggered him because I hit him in the head. No, no, I just, ah! Alright. At this point, wait. Okay, I have a flask. I am not dead. My goal, oh. Well, come on then. There we go. My goal is to reach the other guy still out there somewhere. My goal is to reach the bonfire to my right and open the gate without dying. The game's goal is to make me die. We're gonna see who wins. Yeet! Ha! 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 Pull out one more yeet us for the road. And then we're gonna go this way? Oh yeah, I killed all the dudes on the baliste. I don't know if that's the pro blah, 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 proper pronunciation. I don't know if that's how you say that shit or not. But that's how I said that shit. The baliste. Uh, I will randomly say things that are lines from some of my favorite content creators. Like, for some reason, the funniest thing in the world to me is when Dado Doya it summons his horse and he's like, Wiesna! And then I found out through the internet that Wiesna is the sound that a donkey makes. Wiesna! Wiesna! Um. Yeah, I just did that. I hope that never ends up in like a Twitch clip. But like, no one listens to my videos anyway to hear me randomly braying like an ass. So that's good, right? <laughs> oh lord. Alright, so what I've just done is open the main gate. I killed all the dudes. So now... I don't think I can do much from here, but we are gonna talk to this man because he can sell me stuff. And so now... Kastis. Uh... Having a parrying shield is good, but I'm not going to be doing much parrying. These consumables are, to me, useless. I can craft this, 
I don't need this because I can just pick up a dozen of them off the ground, reset at the bonfire, and pick it up again. I'm always going to call it a bonfire. I don't care. It's a bonfire. The only time it wasn't a bonfire was when it was the Hunter's Lantern. And that's because it was Bloodborne. Because Bloodborne could be its own entity without any of the Souls game existing, and I'd still love Bloodborne. Because Bloodborne was just that good. Also, f comedically, Bloodborne's amazing. Like, if you think about how hilarious that game is... Alright, check it out. So, like... You're at the start of the game. You're going through an area. There's a dude. He jump scares you because you didn't know he was there. I'm not going to spoil the exact specifics in case you go to go through the game. If you're wondering, I'm getting coffee real quick. So you're going to keep hearing my dumb ass, but you're not going to see any gameplay taking place. Yay! Give me a second. Uh, wireless headphones would be fat. Right now, they are wired. Damn it, Bobby. What the hell? I'm sorry, Dad. You bought me wired headphones for Christmas. Alright, so there was my Bobby and my Hank Hill. Probably both sucked. Then again, the weather's got me sick, so it's not my fault if I sound stupid. Anyway, um... Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 Oh, she is looking lovely today. There's that hot coffee. Don't ask me why I just made kissy sounds in my fucking coffee cup. Oh, goddamn, no, because I love it. That's why. Shut up. Anyway, uh, so, I figured Achilles has spear, throws spear. What better way to throw spear? Because, like, in previous games and in other, like, like in Skyrim. Skyrim, for example. There just straight up is not a spear weapon. Enemies have spears. But there's just not a spear category of weapons. I, I had to get a mod to add them, and I was disappointed with the results. There's the Reichling javelins, but don't don't sit in my chat talking about some Reichling javelins. Those don't fracking count. I know, no one's in my chat right now. But I'm speaking to you all as if you are there, and will be. You know, whatever. It is what it is. Alright, so ordinarily I would be wrapping this video up because it's reaching about a half hour. But I want to make this a stream, and they say that you're not going to get an audience until about two hours into your stream. So we're here to keep going. Uh, I rested, which means I'm not going back in that door right now. I'm not a fan... I'm a huge fan of the level design for the castles. They, they did castles justice. They actually could have made the castles worse in terms of what you have to go through. Uh, they didn't utilize a lot of the castle's features against you, and they could have. What I mean is, for example, uh, as I come out here, right, we got, we got birds overlooking this, but like, all right, you see that tower there in the distance? This, this biosh, so I don't know of a way in there. If you know of a way, please tell me. Uh, but, like, there could be dudes in there just plinking at you with arrows. You see... Let's see. Let me see. Let me find a better... Let me find some more examples of other architecture of the castle that's designed to kill you. Like, there could be dudes all up in the rafters of this plinking away at me. Uh, this is actually kind of a bland castle design in terms of... It... It's a castle that's meant to be a FromSoft level, and that's cool, but it also still leaves out a few parts of, like, castle, which is fine. I'm, I'm fine with it. There's not a... Uh, the Spectral Lance does more distant... Blah, blah, does more damage up close than at a distance. Thanks. Okay. I find that getting against a wall so that Swoopy McDumbass has to Swoopy its dumbass. Ow. Alright, look, watch. We're gonna get against this wall, and then Swoopy McDumbass is gonna have to, like, try to get me against the. Come on now. 
Never mind. The game can just go around me. No matter what I'm doing. This is <sighs> this enemy's so annoying. How can we make birds worse than they were in Bloodborne? Give them swords on their legs. Huh <laughs> huh. That'll be funny. Dog! And then it just keeps spamming and then fucking hitting me after I swing. That's something I really don't like. Now, I understand. Look, I'm on my way to, to getting a career in game design, right? I'm, I'm heading for a college degree in game design. Game development and game design and game design philosophy are things that I take into account. The design philosophy of this game leaves the player behind too much, in my opinion. Now, you have the ability to get mega busted, but like, the enemy, like, how did that do him no damage? Shut the fuck up, though. You know what I mean? <coughs> you recover too quickly, and it's just stupid. What? He s didn't do his last attack and instead went straight into four more hits. Like he went, I, okay. I could hear him in my headphones make the sound of his fourth hit and he started to move his head for his fourth hit, but then he didn't do the fourth hit. Uh, they changed this castle several times. That is to say, this dickhead, what? Where is he? Okay, whatever, fuck him. Sometimes the gatekeeper follows you around the level like a creeper, and sometimes he doesn't. I have found him in multiple places. Uh... Oh! I've been playing on my Nintendo Switch a lot, and the A button is where the circle button is. <sighs> so that was me mashing the... X button to pick up the item. Only it's triangle in this game anyway. Oh! <laughs> if you're wondering why I just rolled off and died there. I, uh, I was trying to mash A on my Nintendo Switch. And instead of mashing A on my Nintendo Switch, my dumbass mashed circle on my PlayStation 4 and rolled off. Okay, that's okay. That gives me a chance to show you some of the spots that Dickhead Ass Goss Talk shows up. So I've seen him sitting here looking at this dude, like talking shit to him, like, oh, you didn't do a very good job, ha ha ha. And then he tells me, hurry up, wouldn't want to get caught by the guards. Like, bro, the guards are everywhere and you're telling me I gotta hurry up, that we don't want me getting caught. What about you, bro? Uh, stupid birds. Stupid birds. Yay! Now, if I throw it again without, like, aiming it, see how much further that goes? That shit crack. Yay! Here, I'll do it from up here so you... Thank you. Look out, it's a large mouth bass. Ha! Ha! Ha ha! I really love that R2. Light poke, ha ba! Like it, it does two attacks on its own. I think it does two into three? No, it's only two into three if you chain it like this. All right, now, I'm gonna teach you how to cheese. Ready? Now, I do not cheese every boss in the game. I do not find ways to cheat against every foe. That being said, the Crucible Knights are a parry boss. Uh, the, the enemy is a boss to me. You have it as a boss anywhere, therefore it's a boss enemy. And if it's not a boss enemy, then you shouldn't take the boss 
and make me fight it as a non-boss. Like, if it's not a boss, don't make me fight it as a boss. If it's a boss, don't make me fight it as a non-boss. There, that's what I meant to say. If it is, keep it that way. If it isn't, then fuck off. Basically, I just think that it's... Uh, how do I explain? Lazy? Seriously? Guess what? I don't know why that happens to be there, but it does. And so, hey, there he is, our best friend. Stealth in this game is crap. It is broken. That does nothing. Like, wow. Okay. What? Here's how you cheese. If he ever gets over here. You're not gonna come over here? Okay. Wow, it's funny that it... Uh, hello? Come over here. Really? Did they patch him? I guess they patched him. Damn, that's crazy. Never mind, I just wasn't close enough. See that? See that? It can't get us, Jesus. Crucible Knight isn't real, it can't get you, Crucible Knight. Ugh. Now you do have to be careful of shit like that. That's much more respectable damage. Okay. I call this... More holes than Swiss cheese. I have to keep the dildo verse going. There we go. Wait. He recovers very swiftly. However, a big part of that is his animation. Meant to intimidate you. Yeah, I would have thought for sure you could get me from there. But no. No, you cannot. Now, I do have to be careful because now you have tail attacks. And those seem to have magical infinite range. animation of him getting up is much sooner than him actually getting up. Don't ask... What? Don't ask me how... It tried to one-shot me. That's cute. No, no, coward. That thing has amazing tracking. I have seen that thing, like, fly... Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah! I threw it at the dragon while the dragon, like, jumped backwards and flew away from me, and my spear went, Where the hell are you going? And followed him. Shit is hot. It's not perfect tracking. It's not going to be like a missile that... Watch it. You've got one on your tail. What? I have a tail? Shit. I knew I didn't take out all the accessories from the furry convention. Uh, disclaimer, I personally am not a furry. That was just comedy. I'm just trying to be funny. Anyway. And that's how you cheese a crucible knight. You get it to a gap where it can't... Now, you cannot use any of those tactics to cheese out a crucible knight normally. See, here he is. Another one, another one, all skin and bones. Worse than a petty squire. I don't understand. <sighs> Not a muscle on this one either. My thing is, I don't know what he's doing. <gasps> oh, you... I scared the shit out of him, though. For God's sake, don't scare me like that. 
me? You scared me! What you mean, don't scare you? I come up here, you're just whispering. Oh, just clearing out some corpses? Can't just leave them about, you know? They'll start to pong, eh? What does that mean? I've determined that this game is like... Celtic in origin. Or, or something of that nature. Let me explain. When I was younger, I had a book called The 21 Lessons of Merlin, a study of druid magic and lore. And part of the druid culture is that there's in-between places, right? And times. Like, twilight is an in-between place. Fog is an in-between place. So, like, a foggy road at night... Or like a, a doorway is an in-between place. So like if there's a stone archway on a misty night at, at twilight, that's like an in-between place. And so the, the veil is thinner there, so energies can get through. This place is called the Lands Between. It also specifies that there's a fog and that travelers can come from beyond the fog to the Lands Between. To me... This says that this place is kind of like an ephemeral realm. That is to say, it's fleeting and not real. Oh, hello. Um, it's my. It's his job to keep the grounds clean, right? Uh, like, for example, Godfrey, first Elden Lord, leaves the lands between, right? Uh, why'd I do that? Now the birds are back. Book. Uh, anyway. Need to go to Church of Ele. But, okay, so between all the British and Welsh accents, and then... The, um... Torrent being a spectral steed. Torrent is an infant of those regal horned creatures you fight. Uh, is the prevailing theory I've heard. And that's the theory I like, so that's the theory I'm going to go with. Until I hear a better theory. It's like, literally, this beautiful cre- Wrong button. This beautiful creature... Makes the same chiming sound when it we jump. And the same animation. Chimey sound. Chimey sound. Chimey sound. Chimey sound. Uh... In fact, yeah, I'll go show you Nakron. Oh, I, uh, mm, uh, I can get down well, there. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, howl howling in the mistwood. Yes, yes, yes. You don't find yourself. So there's a connection between... To me, there's a connection the between the Three Fingers and Rani. Based on Kale sending us to Blythe. Goodbye. Uh, how does he know Blythe? My, like, I have questions, right? How does Kale know Blythe? I, uh, God, I have such low stamina. Or not stamina. Vigor. I have such low vigor. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have any before. Meaning I have to go and get some crafted pods. So you don't have to go and explore the whole of the open world in this game, but I would recommend it. Um, I'm not a fan of that, of, of ride around, press a collect material button. I'm not. I don't like it. I don't like being encouraged to ride around and murder a bunch of tiny animals. I'm not a fan. I'm a big nature advocate. Like, I... I love nature. Now, I don't think that... Uh, no, no, this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion, but... I don't think that vegans or vegetarians are doing anything that makes them healthier or more saintly than people who consume meat and things that are involved with animals. Here's my take on it, okay? Ready? Hot take time. All things are living, plants and animals, both living, and you might think, it's a different kind of life. 
They don't breathe. They breathe. They breathe carbon dioxide. They breathe in the carbon dioxide. They breathe out oxygen. Actually, they don't produce much in the way of oxygen. Most of the oxygen you breathe comes from an algae in the ocean, not plants, not trees, not plants, not none of it. Sorry, not sorry. It has nothing to do with the trees. Like, less than 1% of the oxygen you breathe, if I'm aware of it correctly, comes from trees. Oh, like, 99% of the oxygen you breathe comes from algae in the ocean. Thank you, little green plants. Ow. Uh, that leads me to my first point about ow. Uh, Achilles battle strategy. Spectral Lance has great range, incredible stagger. I dislike the wolf, do the dog enemies because they are guiltiest of button reading. Like all enemies button read, but the doggos button read the worst. So what they will do is they have an attack that leads into a backdash. Like it hits you and then backdashes. Basically, you can think of it like the doggo using a heavy and then hitting circle, right? And then the doggo attack bites at you and backsteps. Lots of enemies in this game, I've noticed, have really good backstepping. Like, really good backstepping. To the point where it's friggin' infuriating, stop dodging absolutely everything. Like, yeah, I get it, demi-humans should be a little bit agile, but like, holy fuck! I go to smack him and that thing literally dances around like it's a fucking endgame boss from Bloodborne. Like, sit a little more still. Like, every demi-human thinks he's cosplaying as Garman and I don't like it. The regular ones, not the big ones. Okay, we are whipping everything, Jesus. Alright, we have hyper oop, armor. Uh, I have noticed that the Weathered Straight Sword, while it doesn't have a lot of range or damage, has a shitty ton of the stagger damage. Alright, so he roared, so in theory now his uh, attack will be way... Yeah, that's what his roar did. It made his attack chain way crazier. Um, because it was a backstab, we're gonna finish him off with jumping stab. Hiya! There you go, Achilles versus the Beast Man of Faramazula. I personally... No. Y'all can feel however you want. I think it's lazy game design to make a boss who is then the standard stock file enemy of an entire zone later on. I think that's lazy game design. If it's a boss, leave it a boss. I grew up playing things like Zelda, Super Mario RPG, Lufia 2, Final Fantasy 7 the first time. Not this remake where it's like, it's an action game now! I've played all the way into, like, chapter 3 or whatever of the of the remake. Y'all can keep it. I loved Final Fantasy 7. Whatever you think you've done with it, I don't like. Oh, use this character and switch to this and use this and then switch to this and use this and, like, dog. You fundamentally broke everything about what was a Final Fantasy game because, like, I don't know who took over at the company. Oh, we're we're attracting so many more fans with this new style. That's great, and that's that's bully for them. You know, hey, I'm happy for you, man. If y'all like that, I I don't like this. These guys, these guys suck. Yes, you. I hide off your camera and then laugh and then attack you. If you look at them, they do a little like he 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 right before they smack you. And they always see. You want to know where they went? They disappear and then they're behind you. Now there's two of them. I don't fight them things. I just don't. Because they, they do what I call making you wait it out. Well, okay, I don't call it anything. 
but they commit a cardinal sin of souls enemies, and that is uh, waiting until the AI gives up and sits still and does nothing. Go away. This enemy is so annoying. It just flits around and then smacks you and then flies all the way off camera and god forbid you try to target the fucker. He's like, oh my god, I'm Speedy Gonzales on methamphetamines. I'm everywhere. No. I'm, I'm glad FromSoft finally managed to make more mobile, more nimble, agile enemies. That's great. This game abuses hyper armor way too much. I, I don't think that a... D these guys, these guys right here have hyper armor. When they go for... Maybe it's just super poise? Or boosted poise? Or whatever. But I consider it hyper armor. Because if he goes for that slow... R2 if he goes for his charged up attack. Now, I used to get very pissy about the idea that the audacity that the enemy could do a variable, very little of words, a variable timing. Dog, fu fucking button reading. I was like, oh, out of this trade, I'll just hit him another time. And then out of the trade, he fucking smacked me with the torch. Because that would get me. Dumb. I understand... You know, they've always done that. I'm thinking back to Dark Souls 3. And every enemy, it's like, oh, you... You both went through a combo, and he... That that attack, most attacks, are just so much, like, fake distance on them, you know? That, right there, button reading. Uh, it's the same shit the souls enemies, the, the, the knight enemies, not knights, what were they? Hollows? Yeah, it's the same thing the hollows were doing in 3. When you'd frickin'... Come on. I hate that. They can totally hit me through wall. I know they can. I've been hit through the wall. Get fucked. Alright. Uh, they're guarding, they're guarding, they're guarding. The moment you put in the input for your kick, they put their shield down for a fraction of a second. And then go back to guarding. Uh, no. No, I don't accept this. Bing. Um, some enemies... No, let's see. Not small enemies. I want to say it's just for large enemies. Now, these assholes? They, yeah, right there. They have changed stitches in this game. Uh, snitch enemies used to only summon their allies if they finished snitching, right? That is, the dude would pull out his little lantern, he would shake it, he would shout, <coughs> Bell? Lantern? Whatever the fuck it was. The dude would pull out a thingy, he'd make a, a sound, and then he would t and then everyone would get up when he was done. Not anymore! Yeah, that R2 is just good. Uh, stealth is busted in this game. Have I mentioned it? La 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 la. I'm using stealth. La 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 la. I do like the visceral blood spray. That's that's really pretty. Ah, yeet. Ah, yeet. For some characters, it's like. I don't need summons. I can fight these bosses myself. I dislike him because he can, like, cheese me way more than any other foe. Uh, if you don't think you're going to get there in time, you can totally press circle to cancel out of the animation. Like, I can roll after the end of it and roll, like, a full half second sooner. Now, if I go for it like that, he goes, nope, 
No mana. Uh, something I've learned about enemy... In what world did he have time to get his shit up? Something I've learned about foes in these games is if they go for an attack, you should respect it, because you might not think they were gonna hit you, but if they think they were gonna hit you, they were probably gonna... Landing poke. They were probably gonna hit you. Alright, this is one of the reasons I love the Achilles build, because I have versatility and tools, and therefore options. Uh, I made this build in Souls 3, back when there wasn't a, like, spear throwing. Well, there, there was the Follower's Javelin, and I could use the weapon art on that to throw it, but it sucked. Whereas this thing, I'm pretty sure I could throw this thing and hit God in the feet. Yeet. That hits up on the cliff. That is hitting all the way up there! That is insane to me. Anyway, so yeah, this is Achilles. I'm enjoying him. Now, I was thinking I'm gonna play for a while, so... Uh, ooh, should I fight a boss boss? Yeah, we should fight a boss boss. A boss, a boss, a boss boss. We should fight a boss boss. We should fight a boss boss. I was going to be streaming for at least another hour or so. So, uh, what I will do just for you. Ooh, is I will fight my way hello what am I hearing I will fight my way to a boss and then I will kill the boss alright I'm a creature of habit I like for my shit to be set up the same way across my characters in terms of utility oop, oop, oop. me forgetting what button does what which game I'm playing this is probably better. There we go, yeah. <coughs> Hang on. I'm a big fan of getting shamoned, so... Shamoned now! Ooh! That reminds me of a thing I haven't gone to do yet. Do some pavepe. Oh! I am Lindsay Lohan! Yeety bird? I'm being summoned to another world! Let us conduct jolly cooperate. Don't look up my skirt. <laughs> Let us conduct jolly cooperation. I wish I could have more than 10 character slots. Like, holy bejesus. Please, 20? Can we, can we get an update that gives us 10 more character slots? Hello! Hello! I am Achilles! Say hello to the nice people on YouTube. Been streaming for an hour, still no one in chat. Yay! But maybe someday, maybe someday. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna apologize in advance. If you don't want me to talk, just send me home. But I am streaming, so I'm not gonna just fill the silence. You know what I mean? I'm not just gonna, I'm not just gonna have dead space and silence. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk. So anyway, here we are. I am Achilles. This is Bernardo Raul, the swarthy, swarthy. Oh, hello, sir. I'm not sure what aspect of the architecture you were most fascinated by, but it got you killed. Uh, Gostock will sometimes appear over here. I don't know why, but he he be doing that. Oh, uh, so that leads me to one of my finer points. Mages. Mages have it really easy in this game, mostly. 
all you really have to do is get lucky and have the boss not hit you for long enough for you to get off all that crazy damage. Mages have it super easy, mostly, in this game. Oh. I wanted that. <laughs> like, I was legit trying to kick him off, and then I threw my lance at him, and I'm like, wait a minute. Why would we do that? Stop it. Bye. Okay. And then we go in here. Uh, I recommend making your way to the Weeping Peninsula. Weeping Peninsula or uh, Liernia of the uh, Lake of Liernia? Lake of Liernia, yeah, that's the one. So if you stay locked on, jump like upwards and at an angle to him. Alright, cool. This thing's way easier to fight with more than one person, but he's a mage and might immediately get one shot, so you never know. Never mind, he's actually using like intelligent shit. You'll love to see it. Great! Um, having more than one person makes that guy so much easier to fight. Don't forget to pick up your item from this chest over here, my friend. Burr -da -burr. So I love hate the whole... I I just think that rune arcs should function like they have in every other game with embers and souls and all that and humanity and all this and all that. And the third, I can't leave. Can you leave? I can't leave. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
you're a pussy at that point. Full stop. I have no respect for you as a PvP player. You're just a scummy little coward. Every one of you players out there who just preys on low-level people, you're a pussy. You're afraid of getting your ass whooped in real PvP, so you sit there and feel good about yourself and stroke your ween because, oh, I got a kill. No shit, you got a kill. You are instantly proccing Scarlet Rot on one item connection. Like, that was immediate. It hit me, I have Scarlet Rot. No build up, I have Scarlet Rot. Okay, so your build is based on being bullshit. Then he has Vike's Spear, which causes madness. What else did he have? Oh yeah, he had his little pussy ass lightning crossbow bolts or whatever. Like dog, you're a coward and this is why I don't ever summon people. I just get summoned. Don't ask me to summon you. I won't. Because all the people who invade in this game, except like Chase and Prod, are doing just the cheesiest shit. And like there are a couple other people, but like I don't watch them as much, so I'm not name dropping other people. Actually, there's no as much. I watch Chase, Chase the Bro, and I watch Prod. Those are the only two streamers or like like souls players that I watch other people exist I don't care there's lost there's fighter I don't care I I don't watch them so I'm not gonna go on about it hello Constantine you're supposed to be augmenting my gear in DC universe what are you doing here all right Constantine say hello to YouTube wait you can't hear me I really dislike the lag whenever you're playing with another player and it's worse in this game than it's been in any other title because I think it's because of the way the open world works but why would you why would you do that dude <laughs> why would you try to cast at him you're not gonna reach him hang on maybe I can holy shit hang on he's gonna come over here and then we're gonna get him Hey, where are you going, bro? Ah, lucky! What a bastard! All right. Anyway, case in point of this game being cheesy, the game will do anything it can to protect its little pussy NPCs. I'm glad to see that combo still works. Two light attacks into a heavy. Case in point, stealth is broken, la la la. I can literally, while stealth, touch him. And don't, don't, don't think I'm weird. I mean, like, I can be bumping into his back while in stealth. And he just, it doesn't, he doesn't notice. He's like, huh? Is something brushing against me? That's bizarre. Ow. Um, I did not farm these dudes for my weathered straight sword. They do drop it. I didn't farm them. I actually went to the Madness Village up in Weeping Peninsula and farmed those guys. Because they drop it sooner than coming to Stormvale, and I wanted to go through the game with my spear and my sword. There we go. Headshot. Uh, you can go through that little route if you need to. Uh, it just leads over to here anyway. La 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 See? Camera locking onto a dude we don't need. A dude all the way up on some rafters above us. Drop down here, pick up your item. La 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 la. Hop across. La 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 la. La 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 la. I've gone insane, I've gone insane. 
I don't know if you can heal me. You have to go in first, boss. Oh wait, no, you don't. Stop that. Stop that. Hey, hey. No, no. Stop. Okay. Sometimes the game just wants you to die. Don't get killed, don't get killed. I got you, hold on. What? Dog. Bro, what? What is happening right now? Did you see, what? I'm really glad I was streaming while that happened. I was just swinging and not connecting with him literally at all. That was amazing. I really hope that the, the thing doesn't mean that my mic is off. Because it looked like it was saying my mic is off. And uh, if that's the case, then I haven't been talking for the last hour. And that would make this uh, really pointless. Just, I'm looking for a little uh, but enough about this place is but yeah, uh, ideally, place I want armor that has like a uh, breastplate a shit going on I'm with bare arms. But still. I don't I'm know of any breastplates in the game time. that are actually metal and leave my arms showing. Hold on. I don't need literally any of this. Okay, uh, don't waste money on shit I don't need. I'm fine with not doing a ton of damage with my weapons yet. Um, so here's, here's why I say stealth is broken in this game. Alright. It's, it's not this part right here. It's, okay, yeah, it's this part. It's this part right here. You ready? Are we ready? Okay. Here, here's why stealth is, in, is broken in this game. So, I heard the rustle of grass. Shh. Reach out and touch grass. I mean, I, I can give you a better example, but I like this example. But, I'm in the grass. I'm crouched. Now, because I'm streaming, matter behaves differently when observed, so we'll see if it does something different. Yep. Yeah. See how I'm literally right here? Yeah. Peak game design, guys. Grass, ladies and gentlemen. That is not grass. If, if I, if you... If you were to point at that and say, He didn't hear, boss. We didn't see him. I would fire you. I would feed you to the thing down there that's making all that noise. Like, bro, shut up. What? Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. I always think I'm getting jumped right there. But, like, I'm not. But I always think I'm gonna. Oh yeah, we can get a much better vantage point on him from over here. La 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 la. This is gonna require setup, and then wait, what? You please, sir, sir? No, wait, what is happening, dog? You mean to tell me that that fucking step doesn't save me? Doesn't stop me? I can't. I th 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 Dumbfounded. The one spot where kicking that man should have clearly resulted in him plummeting. And you're like, <laughs> no. Bruh. Bruh. 
as you heard right there, he gets headshotted. Or can. Yep. Fucking love Spectral Lance. I don't care if it's fair. I don't care if it's balanced. Fair and balanced went out the window with this title. I'm alright with it. I've adapted. I've grown. See, at the start of my Elden Ring journey, I stepped foot into Limgrave. I laid eyes on the Tree Sentinel. And I was like, I'm gonna fight him! <laughs> and then he pushed my sh- it, it was as soon as the damn horse shoulder checked me. That was my wake up call. That was my, this is not the same game anymore. Did you see it? It bent around the damn thinger bob. So what he did there was walk extra slow until the instant he would be able to be locked on to and then started to sprint at me because this game thinks it's fucking cute. Shut up. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's not like you're going to fucking kill him. If anything, I'm lucky he doesn't have a goddamn, uh, what's it call it? I can cheese him better from another spot. You say, don't cheese him, no, fuck that enemy. <laughs> Definitely gonna cheese him. Yeet! Yeah, yeet! While I understand the concept that an enemy is going to get hit harder by- what? Nope. No. I know better. Alright. Never ever think- Bro. Never ever think- Oh! There's no way! Oh, I love the tracking on that. What the hell? Never think, there's no way it can hit me through this floor paneling or anything like that, because it always, always, always can! Hello? Shut up back there! You know what's funny is, I've said I was gonna cheese it, and now I don't want to. Now I can up to you all over again. <laughs> Fuck off! See, that's my thing about this boss. Actually, that's my thing about this game. Is the lack of consistency on any of the attacks until it matters. All these attacks winging past me until it matters. Ow. Bro. I've determined that Stagger is not on screen because if Stagger was OW on screen, you couldn't get cheesed by it. God damn it, dude! That is to say that when you go for a Stagger off of what just got you a Stagger... Alright, uh, for example, Melania can reset herself out of your Stagger. That is, she can just cancel into a dodge out of being Staggered. She can go from being staggered to hitting you. She can say, no, I don't care if you were, if you just staggered me. I, I'll hit you anyway. I'm Melania, cunt of Mikola. Oh god, don't take me off YouTube. I say the foul words. I was into Marines. No, but seriously though. Bro, what? Okay. when this game just arbitrarily decides to fuck you. Where is he? 
Okay, fine. Never mind. Because now I can hear other enemies slowly moving around, and I'm not doing it. I want my shortcut. Before the game decides, oh, we're going to screw over the player just for the sake of it. I understand that... What? Okay. Load times. I understand that all from soft titles are are designed around punishing you and being difficult, but they took the tropes from. I can't even. I've never experienced Demon Souls. Okay, never. It was out like many years ago, and someone told me play Demon Souls, but I didn't really have control over what was bought for the household. And if I would have told my abusive stepmom, hey, I want you to get me a video game called Demon Souls, uh, that wouldn't have gone well. So I just wasn't going to ask her uh, to get us a game called fucking Demon Souls. That wasn't going to happen. Um, ow. He here's where this game is arbitrarily awful. Uh, he is going to intentionally keep me from being able to hit him while hitting me through the wall because he has on no clip, and I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm joking just slightly, but like, for real though, hello? Yeah, Stagger's fake in this game? No. I don't even know why they make it so you can stagger that boss. Literally, and yes, it's a boss. It's the first boss you fight in the game. Don't tell me it's not a boss. I don't care if they reuse it a bunch of times. It's still a goddamn boss. I don't feel bad about cheesing you. You're a douchey can do. That is so dumb. The game utilizes your character's animations in conjunction with its own algorithmic nonsense to say, ah, you went for this animation. Because you're locked on, your character will move this way if I use this animation to move the boss this way. And therefore, I can use that against you. Ha 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 ha. It's the dumbest fucking thing ever. This right here is what I'm talking about. I can see you, but the center of you... Bro. Oh, it's almost dead. So now it's going to totally change its tactics and force you to try to... Want to know why I think this game is like a 4 out of 10 in some places? It's because shitter trash mobs like this exist throughout the entirety of the game world. The only thing I think that's more reused than the Grafted Scions and the Crucible Knights is the Ulcerated Tree Spirits. And those are definitely the worst enemy you've ever made. I cannot tell you how disgusting it is as a player to be so heavily bound by the rules of the terrain to the point where my attacks will fucking randomly bounce off walls but then sometimes randomly not and then you just have that ulcerated douche fuck who's just like oh yeah uh, you know how it really sucks to have an enemy that can, like... Uh, you know how it really sucks to have an enemy that can just, um... Look, when I fight these things, I complain about them. I then turn around and body them sometimes, making it... That looks fucking dumb. Making it look somewhat easy. Some, sometimes. Sometimes I get my shit pushed in. I get slapped around by these damn enemies, and I'm just like, oh, I fucking hate this title, blah, blah, blah. My little brother, he's he goes, dude, I love you, but you, you gotta stop talking to me about this game. I was like, why? I love this game. He's like, no, you don't. Okay, now that I've made exasperated Ugg sounds 
four times, I will explain why I did that. Um, I went to try to switch weapons and couldn't because the stone sword key was lost with use message was on my screen. And until I pressed, I want to say it's one of two buttons. I know I can press X to get it to go off screen, maybe? And I know, like, this is the problem, okay? I don't even know what I'm supposed to push to get it off screen. But pushing one of the buttons, not circle or attack, or weapon swap, Pushing one of the buttons will get the display of the message Stone Sword Key was lost with use, or also somewhere a heavy door has opened. Okay, great. I, I'm wonderfully happy that the door opened. Why does the message, the fourth wall breaking message, dominate my screen and remove and preclude all ability to hit a button? I can't attack. I can't roll. I can't run. I can't dodge. I can't lock on. I can't do... <coughs> <coughs> I can't do ow, anything. And it's bullshit. Yep, the snitches. I hate this area. So many snitches. So many firebombs. Alright, so we're gonna... Oh. Yellow. Alright, well, this works for killing them, and it also... Oh, yeah, my dumbass forgot to finish rambling. Um, so I use the Blessed Dew Talisman because my shield will let some damage through. There's the rest of that thought. Uh, there we go. There's an example of why this game is terrible to the player at times. Worse than any other title before, Bloodborne was pretty bad about it, but worse than any other title before is the Hive Mind Offensive. Uh, that it, that is to say, all enemies that can hit you to stagger you out of your hits in a chain are gonna be. So, like, the arrows are coming from off screen. Stop. The arrows are coming from, like, not the guy I'm targeting while I'm fighting this guy. Don't ask me why that dude is still sat over there plinking crossbow bolts at me. Like, yes, I get it. I guess that's how he's gonna fight or whatever, but... Uh, Alright, thank you. I get to talk about a lot of my big gripes. Magic Pixel. Every time I upgrade my weapon, I'm like, cool, I am two-handing the Ungabunga Smash Weapon. I have just upgraded the Ungabunga Smash Weapon. I go to fight most of any... Th that There was no one there a second ago! Jumping the player from every possible angle, every possible time, terrible game design. Like, every fight is just a gank squad ambush. Every enemy has the AI of the demi-humans. I hate fighting the demi-humans because, stop, dude. I hate fighting the demi-human, magic pixel. I hate fighting the demi-humans because every fucking one, wait. Demi-human, uh, magic pixel, no. Hive AI, ah, 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 the flanking crap. Ooh, the pike. Um, so if you're going for a Sparta roleplay, this has Sparta! You need the pike, because the pike, while way too long to realistically be throwing it, is the spear they were using, along with their big-ass shields. I would recommend the Great Shield? Maybe Manor Great Shield? It's probably your best bet. In okay, I'm hearing the guy up above me patrol around. I'm like, I'm hearing footsteps. He's just standing there. Menacingly! No, but, um... Maybe Manor Great Shield? 
you, you want a rectangular great shield and you want uh, this is for Sparta if you're gonna do like a Spartan roleplay you want a rectangular great shield and a pike that that'd be my call would be you get the nice long stabs of the pike but then here's your issue is Spartan warriors were a phalanx okay it's not like 300 where like every Spartan's just a god of war by himself yeah kinda <coughs> <coughs> kinda yes kinda no more no than yes uh, every Spartan's a badass god of war because his ally to his left and his right has a shield and they all have their shield brothers back like they're hello uh, there's my next gripe. The enemy I'm locked on to... Ooh, I randomly locked on to the back of that guy's fucking head so that I wouldn't be locked on to the guy who's walking up to hit me. The camera... Not the camera, the lock-on? The lock-on. It's intentionally terrible. And that should never be the case in a game where the player has to rely on the mechanic. It's intentionally terrible. And I hate it. Oh, Magic Pixel, you never fail to fuck me over. To fuck me over, oh yeah, to fuck me over. Bro. Right, yes, whatever you say. Hello? I don't... I don't know where I'm... I don't... Of course! Of course! Here, here, another... The game has gotten much more fuck you to the player than it used to be. Uh, for no vivid reason at all. Every... Dog! Every area is just a slap in the face for daring to attempt to step. I'm good. I'm over it. I don't care. I don't care that much. <coughs> <coughs> no, that's why my throat goes dry because I'm talking so much. Alright, anyway, yes, I get it. You're. Oh no, dude. Fuck me. Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, I have to pray. God damn it. All to fucking hell. Pray to God. Pray to the fucking RNG gods. They have stormtroopers shooting at me today. Now I have to pray that I can get past every other jank hidden enemy that's over here. Because there's going to be another eight. I'm pissed. Well, the dog's laying down, so it didn't count. It didn't connect. Shut the fuck up, Batman. God damn it, bro. I thought it was going to do its usual thing, which is that at the last second, the AI is going to come over it. Why? the AI is going to come over and protect himself by uh, body blocking. That was what I expected. Now, that dude's going to... No? I thought he was going to do the aggro teleport rush. You're not looking at me, so I teleport at you. Alright. Hour and 34 minutes. <coughs> <coughs> mm, goodness, I am having a field day. I can breathe so good, I swear. Uh, okay. Well, I just got a text from my dad. He's on his way. I don't know how soon he's going to be here. So, I'm going to jump the gun a little bit. I wasn't going to go over here and kick God Free, Froy, Drick, uh, G-Man. I wasn't going to come over here and swat G-Man in the face. Yet. But, change of plans. We've... 
Oh, come on, dude. Disgusting. No. Ear jumping R1 sailed over the enemy. Lerp, lerp, nerp, lerp. Shut up! Get hit! This is so dumb. Bad game to sign! Uh, terrible foe. Dude! Stop! Stop! It just sits there button reading everything! Uh, I press the button to throw the javelin. It immediately counterattacks with the correct attack that is going to come out just a few frames before my attack. I'm tired of it! It does not make the enemy more skilled than me because you made it button read and then react. And I've proven it for myself that that's how the game works because if I don't press anything, the game does half as much shit. You wanna know how I beat most of the game's dog shit enemies? I'm yelling so many pissed off. You wanna know how I beat most of these trash enemies? I don't do anything and then they can't react. Dude, what a bad fucking enemy. Get up. What the fuck? Dude, it literally just cheeses you. So, enemies in this game don't have a stamina bar, which means they never have to stop moving or attacking. Not moving, but like, like attack moving, right? Like, because in this game, all attacks are wild, wheeling animations that are total bullshit. This bird literally just sat here and just flew fucking circles around me while I sit here swinging at it feeling like a moron. And it's, it's no better if you don't lock on, because then the bird will just sit in your blind spot. The camera will work against you. Like, dude, I don't even care about the souls. I literally just hate this trash mob enemy. This is the worst thing in the fucking game. This piece of shit enemy, right fucking here. Garbage. Garbage game design. I don't respect you for it. I don't think you did a good job making an enemy here. I think it's dog shit. I don't care. I, I think that's a terrible fucking enemy. Never. How? Already. Do you see him? Shut the fuck up. Bro. So bad. Dude. It just fucks the player so much. It's just so bad. This fucking dumb shit. I hate the slow, lingering walk where most things in the game just sail past things. I hate that shit. I, I hate a lot of things about this game, which sucks because I really want to like this game. I'm just upset because I spent so long anticipating this being better than the previous titles in the areas where the previous titles are bad. And it's not. Apologies. It takes the worst traits of the previous titles and exemplifies them. If you hate getting ambushed, don't play this game. If you hate magic pixel enemies, dude, Bloodborne is f sick with it. Bloodborne is, is notorious for it. It's terrible for it. You cannot fight in Bloodborne without an enemy having a magic pixel. It's going to happen. You know why the enemies walk in this game? Do you, do you know why when one enemy... Sorry, I'm just over here busy being bullshitted by a video game again. This dude cheats as fuck. I hate fighting the trolls because they just cheat speed through their animations. Alright. If you're not close enough to be hit, he swings normally. <coughs> and then recovers. 
If you're close enough for him to keep swinging, then all of his animations look funny because he just clips them to hit you. Also, there are two types of stagger in this game. There's soft stagger, which you can get by hitting this dickhead. <sighs> I hate him. That attack is awful because shockwaves are bullshit in this game because they're separate hitboxes from the attack that launches them, meaning I can roll the attack and get hit by the shockwave off the exact same attack in my roll because iframes are not universal they're like used up i'm not saying that like oh you don't get in universal iframes i'm just saying it feels like there are not universal iframes it feels like the iframes got used up it feels like it feels like dodging doesn't actually succeed at making me dodge, which just feels bad. And now we've started to create enough damage on the guy that I want to bring him this way. The only issue with that being is now he's going to start using cheese moves to get to me. How? Magic pixel. Uh, I'm really shocked that he didn't cancel into downward plunge there and just one-shot me because this game will do everything it can to cheese, cheat, and one-shot you. Yay! All right, this is the grace before the boss. See that? That right there? That guy right there? Shut the fuck up. Uh, you can't just free aim the javelins well enough. I, I'm, I'm sure somebody out there can free aim the javelins well enough. But you overall can't free aim the javelins well enough. And it's not cute. I don't like it. Alright. When I fight bosses in this game... I don't generally just go in there and fight them by myself. But, but, but stiff midget, but right, but, but then get good nerd scrub lord blah blah blah. No. Look, if you want to be a real man and fight your way through, go for it. More power to you. I have beaten these bosses by myself on one character or another. I have fought these bosses and determined for myself what I have fun challenging myself with and what just doesn't feel fun. Look, when you give the bosses a stamina bar, I will fight them on my own because then there's a dance, then there's a punish window, then there's a back and forth, then there's a boss fight. When the boss can literally just zerg endlessly and just spam attack into attack into attack into eight hit combo, into button read, into punish, into pretend window. When the boss doesn't have stamina, it means that nothing is a punish window. The gameplay has been trimmed down to single attacks because that's really all you have the opening for. The belly? Oh. Really, all you have the fucking opening for is single attacks. And it's... it's bullshit. This right here. I'm attacking him. What's he doing? Dodging. Uh, the AI changes are just stupid and annoying. Um, there's no stagger bar on screen because this... yeah, this would be leading to him getting staggered a lot. Uh, these dudes do heavy stagger, I do heavy stagger, and the belly does hagger, heavy stagger. But like I said, talking about Melania, they cannot put a stagger bar on my screen because then when a boss cancels out of being staggered, I'm looking at you, Melania, 
I don't know who else in the game cancels out of being staggered. See, you might as well not even summon in this game, because basically every boss is just gonna fucking... Don't get hit. Gets hit. Every time. Every boss is just going to kill your summons when they get to half health anyway. I, th I think it's just coded into the game's AI for my summon to go stand there and get murdered. It's just stupid. I don't really care. Here we are. I summon to kill bosses. I don't give a shit. Give the boss a stamina bar so that I have a fair fight on my hands and I will fight your boss. Until then, I'm gonna do whatever I have to. I don't give a fuck. But the game's combat has been nipped down to single openings and then get out. You don't want to try to combo. There are no combos. You don't get to R1, R1, R2 and have that be true. No, no, no. The game can just nope out of anything. Randomly installs hyper armor onto their uh, en enemies for the fuck of it. Like, I've literally just seen a soldier one-handing a straight sword but because he started a charged heavy, because I could tell it was a charged heavy, you can see it's a charged heavy. You can see it's a charged heavy. Uh-oh. Look, I'm not gonna sprint over there to try to fucking capitalize. Earthquake, earthquake. The game is predicated upon, all right, um, design philosophy, right? This game punishes you for all of your previous, uh, oh my God, really? This game punishes you for, ow. Oh. Okay, yep. Attacks that stagger you into themselves are awful, too. Uh, this game punishes you for years of previous conditioning. That is to say, we worked our way into faster-paced combat. Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, I'm looking at you. Oh! Oh yeah, that. I forgot. Fucking a grab attack that makes him... What the hell kind of animation was that? Sorry. A grab attack that makes him totally invincible while he's using it, in my opinion, is stupid as fuck. What killed her there? Here we go with the cheese. Oh my god. Stop! It's my other huge gripe. The lower the boss's health gets, the more he spams cheese into cheese into cheese. Shut up, Godric. I beat bosses in this game, and I'm left feeling like I managed to beat their nonsense cheese crap, and I managed to outperform the dumb shit with my own dumb shit. I don't feel a sense of accomplishment. Design philosophy in this game punishes players for years of ingrained uh, behaviors. Bloodborne had good smooth combat because my dodge was quick step. Like, Players don't like Bloodhound Step in this game because players are polar about Bloodhound Step. You either love it or you hate it. I personally think it makes the game too easy, and I think if you have to rely on Bloodhound Step to get through the game, then you should have just made it with the damn dodge from Bloodborne instead of this bullshit where I'm forced to rely on a bad mechanic that should have been set up a different way. No, I don't like it. Uh, 
I, I think it's just poorly implemented. I, I think they could have done a better job, fundamentally. Just, just all around, they could have done a better job with it. Uh, look, this is dodging, right? I press roll, I dodge. Bloodborne's dodge was fast, smooth, and fluid, and the combat was set up for me to have iframes on a dodge. Not a dodge roll, but a dodge motion, like a dodge step, like that. Only do I have anything with quick step on it? I think I might have the Misery Cold, but I don't even think I can use that. Yeah. All right, Misery Cold, quick step. Look. Even this is not the dodge from Bloodborne, but it does have minor iframes in it when you're using it as the thing. Fundamentally, the game is built... Oh, I, 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 words. I was listening to a podcast the other day about Elden Ring. They, like, one of the very first things these four gentlemen said in their hour-long discussion of the game was, it's delayed attack the game. Now, my take on that is, or my takeaway there, is that when four people uh, who, who come from different walks of life, so, you know, some of them love the Souls series, some of them have never played it, and are just jumping on the Elden, Wing band Elden Ring bandwagon because that's what everyone did. But their general consensus about the game is, it is Delayed Attack, the video game. That's on purpose. And that's to punish the instinctive nature of an attack. An animation is coming, so I need to dodge. I wouldn't mind the fundamental shift in game design, except that you've spent like two decades almost conditioning players to play this game a certain way. And then it feels like each time they redo the formula, they want you to learn to play the new title the new way, and each one had its play style, right? Uh, the Zweihander is what comes to mind for beating Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 2? I think Greatsword. The Guts Greatsword. That's what I think of when I think of Dark Souls 2. I think Power Stancing, the Guts Greatsword, and smashing everything to death with it. That's what I think of with Dark Souls 2. Bloodborne, you can beat it with anything. Literally every weapon has a viable build for it. Bloodborne might be the most balanced of all the games we've had, and that's saying something considering magic feels like an afterthought. Fuck it, make it use bullets. Like, I don't know, Bloodborne was really balanced. Having trick weapons and having no block meant you don't just sit there and turtle. Combat was fast and fluid and it flowed. But that also relied on rallying. If I got hit, this lady's gross. This whole quest line's disgusting. I don't understand what they were fucking thinking with this. Feed this lady eyeballs. The item description tells you that it's eyeballs, but don't puke everywhere. Go feed her more eyeballs. Disgusting. And then she's happy about it. I, I hate that quest line so much. Bach is best boy. I love Bach. You're the fucking dude. I am your personal whatever head, and I would be happy to help you. Wait, so you have the simple garb, and then you have the garb? The hell the difference? The difference is the cape. Okay, I see. So the shackle on the neck is self-imposed. Alright, I'm, I'm still a big fan of the way they do lore. I have a love-hate relationship with Elden Ring. I love this game, I hate this game. Um, eventually I will beat the Elden Beast. I haven't even gone near it. I, I haven't even made it to Fire Giant yet. I have a bunch of different characters. I, I suffer from alt-itis. Alt I'm an altaholic. Uh, I make alts all the time. Uh, when I played World of Warcraft, I, I had alts all the time. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Alts. Alt, 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 alt. Like, I have so many characters with so much time. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. Design philosophy. This game, fundamentally, comes back to the idea that combat is not fun anymore.
combat was fun in Dark Souls 3. Combat was fun in Bloodborne. Combat was more fun in Bloodborne than it was in Dark Souls 3, but I still think they did a pretty good job with combat in 3. You know, like the true combos. In terms of a Dark Souls game where the combat still feels fun, but also fast-paced enough for people to enjoy it, I think 3 does it best. The reason I don't think this game has better combat than 3 is there's several glaring problems with the combat in this game that are on purpose and unique to this title. Um, where can I go? I'll bet you if I just ride around for a second. It's happened multiple times in my two hours of streaming. Which, by the way, I've streamed for two hours and still have no one. I'm sad. That's okay. Uh, my dad's going to be here soon, so I'm going to be hopping off anyway. But, that being said... Um, Alright, let's, let's make our way into the second area. How hard can it be? that all, like, work off of each other annoy the piss out of me. Demi-humans are the worst thing to fight because they, there will be one on screen in front of you, but the one you're locked onto is there to distract you. These guys don't do it. These guys don't fight like demi-humans. Demi-humans fight like demi-humans. What the game is guilty of is making your character move deeper into groups. That's on purpose. I sit here, I swing... Every time I swing, I take a step. I walk with every swing. Step, 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 step. It's to make you fall off. It's to make you walk into groups. It's to fuck you up. I hate it. Fucking hate it. I think it's stupid. Get out of my fucking... Ah! Trash camera! Dude. I'm literally staring right at the guy, but because the game wants to try to make me die here... Fuck the dog shit. I'm looking right at him, but when I went to click to lock onto him... Tell me why we lose fucking lock on when we kick them to the ground! What? Uh, he hit the ground, you're not locked on anymore! Why? Why? I have so many questions and you don't have good answers to any of them, FromSoft. Why do I lock onto every lemur that's on the fucking other side? I have literally locked onto enemies I cannot see that are on the other sides of walls, hills, cliffs, anything. Just to keep me from locking onto the thing that's punching me in the face. That's on purpose. And awful. You can't do that shit. They took everything that was fun about the previous titles, they boiled it down and said, alright, what worked in the old titles? Dude, the amount of shit that I've seen in the last few years where Zully the Witch says, shout out to Zully, amazing content creator, Zully the Witch gives us, oh, this is cut content, this is cut content, this is cut content. Do you know how much cut content ended up in Elden Ring? I may sound upset about that, and in fact, I am. See, here's here's why that makes me mad. Um, it's content that they didn't end up using ever before for whatever reason or another, and then they decided, all right, well, in this newest title that is supposed to build off of everything else we've ever done that should push it further forward, this game feels like they tried really hard to take the old crap and just put it in a big open world and reuse every enemy 80 times, Fucking Grafted Scions, Crucible Knights, and Putrid Tree Spirits. Bullshit. The, the reason jump attacks and fucking weapon arts are so damn useful in this game is because you only have time for one hit, and then you have to get the hell away from every enemy. It's terrible. If I do more than one hit, I'm probably going to die for it. In most fight scenarios. You have reduced the combat from a fun, interactive dance with flow and, like, tempo to hit, get out, wait, 
run for your dear life from literally everything, hit, get out, wait, repeat. Elden Ring, maybe a 7 out of 10 overall. I'm sorry, I love, hate this game. Anyway, I am Stiff Midget. This is Elden Ring. You guys are awesome. I'm out of here. Peace!